Born Edward Godfrey Kuzwayo on 26 March 1937 in southern Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. He attended his early education at St. Peter's before he went to Gokomera Secondary School in the early 1950s. He later joined the Southern Rhodesian Railways as a train guard before he was transferred to Northern Rhodesia, Zambia on promotion as train conductor in 1961 and was based in Dola. In 1965, he resigned to go into private business and set up his first entity, the Independence Barbershop, in a building on the corner of Madala and President Avenue North. He also incorporated record sales, mainly of rumba music from Congo, South Africa's Bakanga, and a bit of East African music. In his quest to expand, Kuzwayo moved his premises to Wutekwa Avenue in the town center in 1973 and included music promotion. This is what paved the way for the establishment of the Zambia Music Parlor, a company that lived up to its expectations. He met Billy Nyati, who was then working for Leopold Walford in Kitwe as a shipping clerk, and lured him to become his accounts clerk and producer. In 1974, Kuzwayo went to Nairobi, Kenya, where he met Zambia's legendary musicians Nasho Pichen Kazembe and Benson Simbe, as well as former Zambian music experts to that country, Mosi Otunia. Kuzwayo signed contracts with them and produced for Pichen the hit song, Apiri Anabuera. Kuzwayo was also behind Pongo's debut single, I Have Been Looking For You, flip-sided by We Were Not Told in 1976. He later discovered former Zambian Kalindula King Spokes Chola, who was then based at Council Tavern in Mansa, which was just next to Luka Mumba Guesthouse and produced Chikashana Waminsu. Zambia Music Parlor promoted a total of 24 bands and individual musicians under Kuzwayo, including Ricky Lilonga, Keith Mlevu, Emmanuel Mulemena, Pongozi, and bands such as Five Revolutions, The Great Witch, Tinkles, Blackfoot, The Peace, and others too numerous to mention. In the late 1980s, the Zambia music scene took a new turn with the industry experiencing the problem of piracy, which was relatively new in the sector, and this greatly affected the ZMPL business. Piracy and the economic downturn forced Kuzayo to retreat to Zimbabwe, where he set up similar facilities, but this too did not work well as the same problem of piracy haunted him. He passed away on December 20th, 2009 in Dola.